Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. If you're a CEO, a minister, a prime minister, a president, a general manager, a senior manager, and you want to be successful in your job, you need to have political intelligence. Political intelligence is fundamental to success in the business sector. It is fundamental to success in the public sector. Without political intelligence, it is highly unlikely that you can achieve outstanding success in any of these roles. So if you are playing any of these roles currently, or you have future aspirations to become a CEO, to become a minister, a prime minister, or a president, and be successful in your job, you need to develop acute and genuine and deep political intelligence. People talk a lot about emotional intelligence and other forms of intelligence, but the issue of political intelligence in business and in public sector is not discussed as it should be. In this episode and in future episodes, I'm going to go into much more detail into what it takes to become a politically intelligent business person, a politically intelligent public official. We're going to go into the different categories and discuss each of them in detail. Political intelligence requires that you know how to establish connections and build, cultivate and manage relationships. Because how can you succeed in your role as a minister, as a CEO, as a president, as a head of a department, team leader, you name it, wherever people are involved, if you don't know the art of connecting with people of developing relationships, of managing relationships. Political intelligence requires that you know how to develop a network of connection. The more you know people, the more you have access to resources. Once I heard this phrase, make friends, make money was in a movie but you can take this further make friends succeed make, make friends get better ideas make friends have a better time make friends have a stronger support structure make friends have more allies have more partners so the more you have connections within the system around you, the stronger are your chances for success. And for that, you need to be politically intelligent. Political intelligence requires that you understand the issues of culture, norms, folklore, traditions because when you connect with people you have to go through whatever is acceptable to both sides especially to them when it comes to culture how can you connect with people if you act in a way that challenges or offends or ignores the norms within their culture how can you connect with people and develop networks if you don't 
use the folklores and the traditions that they have to establish deeper relationships because it's through these parameters it is through these channels of connection we build relationships and we build intimacies so political uh, intelligence requires that you understand the entire complexity when it comes to culture of every aspect of your network we live in a you know globalized world and it is most likely the case that most people know other people who come from different cultures and not just know them have to deal with them professionally or personally this kind of connection and this kind of complexity have become a fundamental part of our modern life of the way we live now in this globalized and highly connected and interdependent world being aware of this cultural dimension is a key to becoming a politically intelligent person political intelligence requires that you master the art and the science of communication I can't overemphasize this point because how can you connect without communication connection means you've just opened a channel where you're communicating thoughts and ideas perceptions and feelings try even to think of a politically astute or intelligent person who doesn't know how to communicate it's very hard think of it a different way think of cases where political politically intelligent people have and continue to display amazing and outstanding examples of communication how brilliant communicators they are so the more you master the art of communication the more are your chances of success and if you want to be a smart politician in the positive sense you need to be a good communicator in fact a brilliant communicator political intelligence requires the art of knowing how to present your ideas you will have ideas you will have agendas you will have thoughts you will have plans you will have projects how can you lobby people how can you gain support how can you move forward with these ideas and plans if you don't know how to present them in a clear way in a way that's easily understood by the other side so knowing how to present not just communicate we're going into more details now knowing how to present your ideas is key to becoming a politically intelligent executive or a politician political intelligence requires that you know how to talk to the hearts of people that you always remember that people are not just logical beings they're also emotional beings and that communication requires that you reach their hearts not just their minds and that is an art by itself because it requires that you understand them at an emotional level that's why political intelligence and emotional intelligence and social intelligence are in many cases interconnected the more socially intelligent you are the more emotionally intelligent you are the more politically intelligent you will become 
Political intelligence requires that you talk to people's logic, common sense, and mind. It is good that you're going to address people's heart. But you need to have a compelling argument if you want to mobilize them, if you want to recruit them on your side, if you want them to vote for you, if you want them to support your initiative, your strategy, your vision, to adopt and embrace your purpose. So you need to talk to people's mind by presenting arguments that make logical sense. And the stronger are the arguments that you make, the clearer they are, the more you can establish solid and profound and fruitful connections and relationships. Political intelligence requires that you are an outstanding listener. I mean, real listener. Listening is not just about being silent when the other person is talking. Listening is about being completely there by moving yourself, your consciousness from your world into the other person's world so that you can see things from their perspective. You can listen and observe things from their perspectives. That's what listening is about. Listening is never passive. It's an extremely complicated process because you need to abandon yourself and you be totally with the other person. And that's what politically intelligent people do. Politically intelligent people know how to develop empathy, to feel with other people, to establish a connection at a deep emotional level where they can display in their behavior with others that they're connected with them, that they are in their hearts, that they know how they're feeling. And when you are able to display that level of empathy, then the level of connection becomes deeper. Then the chances of you mobilizing them and establishing good relationships for the purpose of your achieving your mission and fulfilling your vision is much stronger. Political intelligence is about the art of paying attention. Attention is where you put all your conscious energy. Think of attention as a laser beam. What is a laser beam? It is light projected in the same direction to a point. That's what attention is. Attention means you put all your conscious energies, everything that is relates to your consciousness, listening, see, seeing all your senses in the direction of a certain subject, a certain matter. It is having this mechanism of control where you can direct all your and all of these energies wherever you want to. And attention requires focus or works with focus. So when you have the power to pay attention with maximum focus through the longest period of time, then you are a very smart politician then your political intelligence is at a significantly high level. And not many people can do that. Because controlling your consciousness, fighting thousands of random ideas that can you know, cross our mind or your mind every minute, every hour, is hard. And people who are able to keep all this noise aside and put all their consciousness and energies, physical, intellectual, spiritual, emotional, 
on the subject that they choose for a long period of time with absolute clarity and focus will go very far. I have been with people, world leaders, in conference rooms, you know, with like 4,000 people in the same huge conference room. And I have seen these people, although surrounded by, you know, paparazzi and all kinds of audiovisual attention, focus so much on a conversation with another person in all that crowded environment, it felt like there was nobody in the room except both of them. None of the noise, none of the people, none of the crowd stood in the way of the attention that this person was giving to the person he was communicating with. That's political intelligence. Political intelligence is about having social intelligence. How to understand society at its different levels and how to understand your position in that society and understand where you want to be in that society so that you can maneuver your way, manage your way design the course that will take you to that position that's social intelligence where do I fit in my society now where do I want to be in terms of positioning myself in that complex system that we call society and how do I make sure that I get there that's what political intelligence is about Political intelligence requires that you are a 360 degree team player. What does that mean? We've already established that you can't do it alone. That you need all kinds of people around you so that your purpose is fulfilled, the mission is accomplished and the task is properly done. So you don't just need to know how to become a team player and play fruitfully with your boss you need to do that also with your colleagues you need to do that also with your staff you need to do that also with your partners and allies and suppliers whoever is in your sphere 360 degree not just a circle an entire sphere three dimensional whoever is in part is part of that universe and is important to the task and the job and the role that you're playing you have to know how to play with them as a team member of course every relationship has its own nature and dynamic but still it has to be fruitful and that requires managing relationships that requires connection that requires communication and the rest of the dynamics that can lead to a fruitful cooperation so being a 360 degree team player is very important some people unfortunately focus on some angles within the 360 and ignore others until they face difficulties until the machine stops until the initiative slows down until somewhere things go wrong or somebody does not cooperate so having this 3d 360 approach to being a team player is a significant element of being a politically intelligent executive or leader or a public official political intelligence also requires that you understand the emotions of others this is where emotional intelligence come to play of course understanding your own emotions are also important 
but to develop connection, to develop empathy, to know how to manage and deal with this highly volatile reality that we call relationships, you need to understand the emotions of others. You need to understand their fears, their nightmares, their, their taboos, their dreams, their aspirations, their hopes, what makes them tick, what makes them scared, the red lines, the no-nos, the definitely yes, what they really want. All of that is important to understanding people's emotions and how that is expressed in terms of you know feelings and at emotional landscape. Becoming a politically intelligent businessman or political intelligence in business or in public life needs the capacity to develop connections and to build relationships functional relationships, fruitful connections with everybody who is part of your universe. And to do that, you need to build a network of relationships. The bigger your network, the higher access you have to resources, the higher are your chances of success. You need to understand culture, norms, values, folklores and traditions and to incorporate that knowledge as you deal with individuals and groups each as per their own background and reality you need to know how to communicate with all what this world means in terms of styles platforms techniques intensities you need to know how to present your ideas. You need to talk to people's hearts and people's minds. You need to make sound and compelling, logical, common sense arguments that can easily be accepted by other people so that you can mobilize them or at least you can develop a common view towards things. You need to be a good listener, not a good listener in fact, you need to be a fun, phenomenal listener. You need to develop empathy and pay attention and have the ability to focus for as long as it takes until you understand the situation or solve a problem or achieve or an objective. You need to be socially intelligent, not just emotionally intelligent. You need to be a team player across the board in all dimensions and you need to understand people's emotions. Once you've mastered the art of connections and establishing, cultivating and developing and nurturing relationships, then you are on your way to becoming a politically intelligent executive. Because without connections, without knowing how to develop relationships, it's, I think it's impossible to succeed in what you're doing. Doesn't matter what your job is, what the role is, from a president to a prime minister, to a minister, to a CEO, to a senior executive, even to a supervisor. Without the ability to connect, to have that level of political intelligence, it's unlikely that you will succeed. And as you master this ability, become a smarter politician, then the chances of your success will be much higher. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. 
And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.